Now, I was doing Donald Love missions, wasn't I? I mean, you realize that the government listens to this, this car station, almost and if they weren't paying darker again. to you before, but the taxi is going to be following you now. Oh, yeah, the taxi well, looks great, so. Never again. I was thinking the mod that I yeah. installed Three, to All correct right, the colors of the cars might have stopped working. Card, but it looks uh, like it's still working. Huh? Well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. The station, it feels like my second family. Except that we have a snack machine. And I took... Grand Thank you for error. retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the Port Authority seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. The way you say that, it says, sounds like it'll be easy, but it can't be that easy. Cherokee, man, Cherokee, Cherokee, man, and another thing. What's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I don't I'm follow any sport, man, but Something you wouldn't know anything football about is AFL. Thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like, like touch football and, and Not basketball. this rugby union, Look, rugby I'm league, the court, the soccer. And I'm, seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play fan sports like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Hopscotch? Man, really? A girl's game, man. Not rugby hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'll take you. I'll take anybody down. I'm what? a hopscotch master. Rugby hopscotch. What? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of see your point, but you know, you'd be a little cranky too if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce here. Let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? Not Has these damn commercials. Look into a little adventure to the monogamy of monogamy. I remember this mission. The um, enemy gang is here. There they are. Atlantic. Colombian cartel is here. Run or die. Run or die. I'm going to kill you. You're going to be shot. I thought my mouse was Way over. There one still.
Well, I'm definitely going to get some health before going there. Sounds like it was a ambulance. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hello, nice low. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because bloody needs a nanny because he's been a. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps, Second Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority, and there is one thing that will put them into shape. Let me guess, the, the military. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pitch. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. If more people would join the military, this... It's health up here, actually. Yep, there's health. And shield. I don't think I'll run or die. Not today. Mouse went off the screen. Eh, you pray man, eh? Or die. I going to kill I you. I risk, gringo. I going 
This guy, just there. Hey, you brave man, eh? I risk it, gringo. You move, big man. I reckon I've got them all. I just had to do something quickly. Hey, let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it badly enough, so it must be worth something. Who the hell? You! Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring your heart out into that gutter. Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We are friends. Here, don't be such take a this. pussy. Hey, we got no choice, baby. You always got a choice, you dumb bastard. I'm sorry about the crazy bitch, man. They, they're all the same. Please, for favor. So, the whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza. Liar! We all saw the cartel assassin. We are going to hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. I'll be operating on our friend here to extract information uh, and uh, a little pleasure. You. Drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your service. Please, amigo. Oh, don't leave me here with her, man. She's, she's psycho, chico, man. Please, amigo. Hey, hey, amigo. The sound there was way off. I reckon it was because... Uh, I think the sound was off because... I uh, tapped out. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and open. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man, Tony, and it's driving me freaking nuts. Well, Tony. Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man, stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me, show that she loves me, and you know, say I was a good... Tony's pretty stupid. Now to save again, I might have more than five missions left. I, love you, Bogo. You I didn't actually look, I just know that I don't have many left. The mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your. to his final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Bobo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. 
Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. With a dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie-in sports jacket? With a lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show. You are proving to be a safe investment, a rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. If I remember correctly, this one's not easy. He came with notes attached. It's like a fortune cookie with wings. Squirrels. Squirrels are not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. There we she go. was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thigh size, and Tommy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Borgie. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself that in Look out towards damage. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1 800 Sleep Off Lard or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Barbara. Is that your real name? Uh, of course it's my real name. Are you a variant? Uh, no, I'm not so I'm gonna collect those guns. Really? Sit here and talk all day about my name. No, that's it. Love the show, Lazlo. Or Mark. Or John. Or Beverly. Whatever your name is. Alright, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Burnips. Fruit vegetables. Albino carrots as they're going back home. Okay. Here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for oh. the last two years. Uh, okay. Question. Bank, 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 bank. 
what about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and, and they end with your voice going up like this. So, Moxie, I know where you work. You're just another rat. How's that? I don't know which way I turn here. They use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush your toys a day? I have read the book. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Enters the Devil in the Great Cavity cover up by J. Phil Stingybottom. Okay. I've seen, if you've heard what I've heard, you never brush your teeth again. I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue paid by salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after these important messages. Hello. I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, so Wasted so many bullets, I'm definitely going to restart. Low game. Yes. Or you're on Chatterbox. It wasn't actually a death, so not adding to the death counter. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. What? Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude too if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? You're all the same, you giant. Oh, I'm tall. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this in the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? I will let it play this time because you are proving uh, to be a safe investment. I know there was, wasn't that cutscene, it was the last one, wasn't it? It's in the last one. Box. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a few people whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people, death oh, kills people. Going the wrong Ask way. A doctor. Medical fact, you can't die from bullets. You can die from cardiac arrest, or organ failure, or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't a problem. I only use my machine gun to save my own home and car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. Y you know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? No, taxes. No, you know, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. Now that they want to pay taxes on the money you win from that stuff, buy your own lottery ticket, you know, hey. Good point, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, lads, now I'm a first time caller. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, lads, sir. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's like very good and rather worried. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. Ah. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well, I'm sure. But the, but the thing is, Laszlo, 
when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I was getting spanked. Na nanny, Nanny would spank me when I was naughty. Oh, now, now, Freddy, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Absolutely rot, Lazo. He needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Lazo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. How old is your son? I don't know. Excuse me. How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand it for that. But I'm ready. He's a nut. All right. That's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? Oh. This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello. You are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. You little How do you expect to be a responsible man? Why? You don't understand how we are going to spend your money. Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating in even seconds. I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks okay, for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, <laughs> a second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! Not. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while yeah. I'm coming. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. <laughs> Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House oh. of Tomorrow will upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings. Revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, lad. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Uh, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is I a think I'm doing a better blessing. this time. It is a revolution I'm not too sure. Cycle. 